Hey, what's up guys? Today I will be doing an update on my camper setup. Um, if you've seen my video before, it was pretty uh, simple. Uh, it was kind of miserable in my opinion because I couldn't really even sit up in my truck. But as you see now, um, I've gotten a pretty big upgrade. But the cool thing about this uh, camper right here is it's not one that actually sits in your bed. It actually sits on the railings. It was actually custom made by a company called Bell Air Camper Shells. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, the cost of this setup was, I think it was about $3,700. And it's pretty cool. I'll show you some of the features here. So it's about two feet taller than my setup before. Um, well, about a foot and a half, I should say more exactly. This one's 38 inches tall. The one I had before was 21 inches tall. I can almost stand up in this thing. I have a window here with an actual screen that I can open. And then if you actually see closely here, it has locks where I can actually open up the whole side of the truck. And the struts on it keep it open. It looks just like a taco truck. Yeah, pun intended. You see the roof vent on the top there. The top can have it can hold up to 500 pounds. Some people actually get a, uh, a rack put on the top. I put Mylar or Reflectix, I should say, on here. The way I did this was magnets. I put a tape the magnet onto there. And then I put another piece of tape with the tape, the sticky side facing out with another magnet on there. And then when I just stuck this thing, the Reflectix to it, they just got all lined up all along the way, so this thing is perfect. If I step up in here, I'm sorry, I, I wish I had a camera person to show me, but I'm 5'10". I can almost stand up in this thing. If it was another foot taller, I would be able to stand up completely. I have a window in the front here that comes in handy when I sleep at night. Usually my bed comes out to the halfway part about here. In the bed a little bit less than half because I chopped my bed a little bit um, depending on how hot or cold it was if it's cold I'll just leave my window cracked like that and then I'll have my roof vent barely cracked as well but I have it opened up all the way here it's a pretty hot day and then up here over the cab you can't really sleep up here but it does have a hundred and fifty pound uh, weight limit where you can actually store all your stuff um, I don't have anything in my truck right now because, well, I'm staying at a house and I just took everything out. But I thought I would just give you guys a quick rundown of the camper setup. The cool thing about this is with the back, it can come down and I can actually just keep my tailgate on there. So I actually have my uh, backup camera on there as well. And then the cool thing here is... If it's even if it's raining out, I have it just open at a slight angle, and I'll just be chilling on the bed of my truck. I'll be eating a lunch, and it'll overextend the bed, the tailgate as well, so I won't actually be getting rained on. So, uh, just to give you another look on the other side here, the other side opens up, and you can actually get that customized. I happen to get both the side doors on the side here because why not? I think it was like another $100 or $200 each, but I just didn't want to down the road be like, man, I wish I would have that feature because what I was doing when I was in Newport Beach, California, I would open up this side here. My bed was laying across the side of the, the bed here. So I would just open the whole door up. I would park at Newport Beach. My favorite beach was Corona Del Mar because there was the top of the hill which overlooked the ocean and I would just watch people go out to um, to the beach or you know they're taking their boats out they're going fishing and doing whatever and it was just a good way for me to just um, you know look up YouTube videos on my phone maybe read a book maybe take a nap and the side door was open and obviously if you're living in California there's no bugs out there that you really have to worry about like mosquitoes um, but other than that um, you can get cheaper setups and you can actually get them taller the reason I got the 38 inches was 
because I didn't really feel it was necessary to stand up in this. But um, if I had any more height in some neighborhoods where trees are trimmed low, uh, I would have a hard time getting through. So this is actually the perfect height in my opinion. I've really put a lot of thought into this. And the next thing I'll actually be doing is I'll actually be getting solar panels on the top of the camper with uh, some batteries and an, in an inverter because it would be nice to have some electricity. So uh, please like, comment, subscribe, maybe even share this with a friend of yours that you might actually that might actually be thinking about doing something like this. Um, again, I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks guys and I'll catch you guys next time.